Hello everyone, and welcome to my investigation of the Pendulum X. See, it sounds cooler if you say investigation instead of playthrough. We just came off a fresh series with the Pendulum X. I also used a Gold Zubamon version 20th to complete a Jogress of Omegamon in our last run. But the Pendulum X, this one is not an anniversary item. This is an original from 2003. It was released alongside a little comic book. Uh, called Digimon Chronicle, which, I mean, the plot is pretty much the same thing from Digimon X Evolution, the movie. You know, that the weird 3D one. It was, it was decent anyway. But essentially, the story goes that Yggdrasil, the central computer that governs the digital world, became a bit overwhelmed by the growth that the Digimon in the digital world were having. It was a bigger boom than they had expected. I blame the internet and cell phones. Once that happened and humans were constantly connected to the internet and creating all these digital spaces, I can only imagine things just boomed. They, I mean, also, Yggdrasil seems to hate humans, you know, a la Adventure Try. He, he just wants to just take over and start over with everything. So we'll press the center button. And we will set our date and time. What time is it right now, anyway? Uh, we're not going to load. We're going to start with a fresh new set. And there's our egg. With it being not a non-anniversary item, I don't know how long the eggs are going to take to hatch. Uh, it could be a minute. It could be like five minutes. But either way, we'll continue the story. Yggdrasil's solution to the world being overwhelming to him and him not being able to control everything anymore was to just destroy a bunch of Digimon. He created a new digital world. He was going to create basically just Noah's Ark and then take all the good ones that he chose to keep alive to this new world and leave behind the unwanted ones in the old world uh, where they would then be destroyed by the X program. However, some Digimon decided that they weren't going to have this garbage and they took on the X antibody program to survive. So this is mostly the Digimon that you're going to see here. You're going to see Agumon X, Greymon X, War Greymon X, all, you're gonna see all those dudes. So I think that's what we're gonna start with first. I really wanted to get the Death X series because this is the Pendulum X version 1.5. Oh, they're hatching. And in this one, there is one special evolution line and that is Dodemon's Death X series. Oh, okay, hold on, we'll get to you. All right, let's check their stats. Age is zero, weight is five. Oh, what do you call yourself? Dodomon. Their level is Yonen, they can't do anything, their, their stomach is just empty. You would see an indicator over here on these little uh, dice kind of indicator, how their hunger and how their training is going. And then if we collect one more time, Shinka, if this starts flashing or getting full, they're about to evolve. Sorry, here, let's go ahead and feed you anyway. Let's feed you some Niku. Now the evolutions in this, what? What do you mean no? Oh no, they're being disobedient because that's something that can happen. See right now it says no, which is, is not saying like uh, negative, it's saying normal. This is their obedience level and slash their strength level. Looks like they start out at the beginning other types that you might see in their battle record screen would be wild and then artificial. Artificial would be the best, wild would be the worst. And for some of the best evolutions, you need them to be at the artificial level. And to raise that, I assume you would just need to do battles. We'll find out. Let's try it again. There you go, buddy. There you fill up. God, I love how big the sprites are in this one. No? Okay. You're just, you're just gonna flash like that at us? That's real nice, buddy. Check out their hunger now. Uh, they seem okay, and normally, like I said, it would show you show you a solid uh, light up that would, and when it's full, they're great. And it was working in the way that it's intended to whenever I was testing it before starting the series, but for some reason now, it's acting up. Also, the sound doesn't work on this. This device was provided to me by Sam Krieger. That He did let me know beforehand that the sound wasn't working, and I was like, dude, send it to me anyway. It's gonna be a little hard because of that, though, because they don't have call signs. They do, however, just call out. And without a working speaker, that's gonna be a little difficult. All right, let's try training. He says no. Oh my gosh, are you serious, Dodomon? Why you gotta be like this? Do it anyway, Jesus. Okay, ready? When it starts saying count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what do we do, 20? Okay, I hope that's good. Every Digimon, just like in the Pendulum X, does have a certain number that they like to do with big hits. Oh, look at that, we got a six. That's a great one. All right, it is flashing, but we can still kind of tell what the dice call is. Uh, when you shake, just like in the other pendulums, it does dictate the power of your attack or the effectiveness of your training. However, there's also this dice thing going on. Wait, is that good? Okay, apparently that's good. Good job, dude. Even if you do the perfect number of shakes, if the dice rolls a one, it's still gonna suck. And then on the flip side, if you do terrible shakes, but then you happen to roll the very lucky seven, you will do all gigantic super blasts regardless. So no matter what we do, there's always going to be this element of chance. So let's try to shake out a 23. I've read that that's good for, well, most Digimon. Is that 23? That's 22, okay. Uh, surely they can just make up the difference for me, right? Come on, guys, make an exception. What did we just roll? A one? A one? They're just gonna make a bunch of stupid bubbles now. No, rise above it. D uh, don't let chance. Come on, why do we gotta gamble? Ugh. Why we gotta gamble though? Yeah, our score is zero. Cause despite me doing good shakes, things are, wait, whatever. Just do it again. Here we go. 
damage. There's a 23. Tw ah, dang it. This pendulum is so nice. It feels like it's encased in rubber in the way that the Dragon Quest Slime Pedometer pet did. I guess regardless, shaking it really fast, you know, there's not a lot of control you can have. All right, it looks like we rolled a five and we're doing three of the tiny bubbles. I'm not seeing anything that would register as like, you know, their stronger version of their attack, but they're also babies, so maybe that is their strong attack. Hmm. Hey, that still worked out. Okay, so it does seem like maybe it's like the other pendulums where as long as it's above a six, it's it's gonna count, it's gonna be great. There, 23. Ah! Man, I keep trying so hard. All right, what do we roll? Because really that's all that matters, isn't it? We have rolled a six. That is going to help us. Yes, it gives us a great roll. Oh, look at the big attack. Normally babies don't get to do anything like that. They get to just do the bubbles. How are you feeling now? Are you doing... <gasps> Dang, you got one of those toilets that does the spraying on the butt? Jeez. It makes more sense for them as a kind of a requirement, though, because uh, they ain't got no hands to wipe the butt. So, at least not right now, they don't. The other item that was in training, in case you're wondering, is a big part of this device. They're I want to show them the other part. So you click on train. So you click on training, and you go down here. The second option says quest, and if you select quest, and you have a Digimon that's old enough to go out and do so, I believe it, they have to be of battling age. You'll go out and you'll do these little, th it's basically a tournament, uh, but in the tournament, in this sense, you get items. They're items that are not only useful for your Digimon's growth, they also are required for certain evolutions. For this first run, I can't get the death line for Dorumon. It's just not, you're not really able to get it on the first generation. It has to be generation two or three, and then you have to give, you know, all of them certain items. So for this first run, I want to get the Agumon X line all the way, if I can, up to War Greymon X. To get Omegamon X, you could Jogress, but you also need a special item, and it's something that I get this feeling I'm not going to be able to get on my first run. However, whenever you get items, they carry over to the next generation for, I think, like, three generations or so. So if we get an item now, we can use it in the next evolution line. So that's our goal. Get them up to Wargramon X, and then also collect items that will let us evolve into the death line next generation. Whoop! It pooped! All right, let's go over to this fancy Japanese toilet. Oh, goodness, it just a torrent of, of toilet water just floods over you. It's how the Japanese toilets are, for all I know. So Dodemon is eventually going to digivolve into Dodemon, and to get Agumon X, the only requirement listed is that they need to be trained nine or less times. What? I thought Agumon would be the, I mean, the alternative would be Dodemon, which, and I love Dodemon. Like, that's pretty much like the namesake of this device, if you want, I could argue that, honestly. But I've also gotten Dodemon so many times recently that I feel like we're familiar with them, you know? We might get them at some other point. I might also be getting another Pendulum X in, and if I do in time for the second generation, I will definitely run them alongside. Uh, this one, and then I'll get Dodemon on that one. But for this one, I really want to see Agumon X, because they're unique. I've never seen them before. I've never seen the X line of any of Agumon's default evolution line, and I'm just very curious. So, we're gonna have to train them very little, and then fill in the rest of their training requirements with proteins, which, which does kind of make them overweight, and it does shorten their lifespan, but, uh... I really want to see Agumon X, so that's what's going to happen, I guess. Shinka, hey, it's flashing, they're Shinka. They're going to Shinka soon, they're going to evolve soon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23. <laughs> While we're waiting for them to evolve, I think it's going to happen pretty soon. We can go ahead and look at the rest of the menu items. From the beginning, we have the scale, which is just the information on your Digimon. Then we have the food, we have the training, we have the toilet, we have the healing Cheerio treatment for if they're injured or sick, and then we have turning off the lights. Now, considering this device doesn't have any sound coming out of it, I'm just going to have to pay close attention at the times of 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 for when they go to sleep and then turn off their light accordingly. Next, we have the connect. Uh, we don't have anything to connect with. Also, it uses a three prong, so I can already tell you it won't connect to devices like the pendulums, which have a two prong. And then we have the Psychoro. This is the dice roll. This isn't a game. It's not anything that affects your Digimon. It's just a dice roller. It just, if you have the need to roll some dice, then just select it and it's going to roll the dice for you. Okay, I guess I have to press another button. Oh, that's right. You have to shake it. Bam. For this roll, we have rolled a two. Well, that sucks. So yeah, so let's go ahead and put this one down for a moment. It's not gonna make a noise when it evolves because it has no working speaker right now, but we can move on to the next segment of our show where on every Tuesday, I pick a suggestion from the audience from the previous video and I draw it in this sketchbook. This week's drawing suggestion comes from Lonely Distance. They asked, can you draw Metal Gurubermon and War Greymon yelling at each other as they are Jogressing? That's not verbatim. I mixed up the, the names of the two characters. 
But yeah, let's go ahead and draw that. I think we're actually gonna have to start a new page. I kinda wanna fill in the gaps for this whole thing so it becomes one of those like Lisa Frank but with Digimon things where there's just stuff in every gap. We can even make a nice buy book out of this kinda thing, like find Copymon, there he is. See, it was too easy. We gotta add more Digimon to this page. But for Metal Gururumon and War Greymon, I feel like I have to do a fresh thing, right? It's a new series. We need a new page. So here's the deal. While I'm drafting this out, I want you all to keep a close eye on Dodomon and uh, I guess just be the witnesses of them digivolving into Dodimon, okay? Because like I said, they're not gonna make a noise. I'm not gonna hear it. This is just for you, okay? What the? They're left. Okay, well, first of all, they pooped and now they're upset about something. I was gonna show you all. If you go over here, it was actually showing a solid line. Why? Wait, how did you? Oh. <laughs> I just realized why it's flashing. It's not flashing. It's just what my camera is capturing. <laughs> if you go over here and I look at it directly, it's all solid. Like I can tell from looking at it in person, it's got a low refresh rate, but on the camera, it's looking wild and wonky. So don't worry everyone. This. <laughs> so Sam, I'm sorry if you've been worrying all this time, but yeah, it's, it's nothing. Oh gosh, that's right, they're upset. Okay, we're gonna go over to Chidio and we're gonna choose between Kega, which is a wound or an injury, and then we can go down to Byoki, which would be a sickness. So, wait, which one would this count as then? Are you sick? Okay, well, I guess that counted as a sickness. Okay, sorry, anyway, I was drawing something. Uh, yeah, please, please continue to watch over my Dodomon for me. Okay, we have our drawing together and, uh, hey, hey, you did evolve, didn't you? Oh, Dodimon. Oh my god, they're so cute! In the meantime, I've drawn over here Metal Gururumon and War Greymon just, just screaming at each other. <laughs> I went a little more goofy for War Greymon's pose, but I'm sure it's fine. You know, squatting is, is powerful. All right, but let's just go for it. We're gonna start with uh, War Greymon's fists because they are the most prominent thing that's going to be overlapping many other elements of War Greymon. Hey, all right, I like the angle that these blades are at so it's easy for me to draw them. Oh crap, I got a, that one's super thin. That one looks like a Twizzler, a messed up Twizzler. Aw, he's got a candy corn on his shoulder. Okay, you can't really tell because of the way this page curves so hard, but it's all there for the most part. But that's War Greymon's lines. Let's move on to Metal Gururumon's. <laughs> I just kind of ad-libbed that other eyeball, but it's so great. His head. It looks exquisite. There's a super cool, awesome sword tail. Uh, we need to add another layer here, like so. So gonna be like that. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Okay, that's pretty much it. Wow, this drawing is so big, I actually can't fit it in one shot right now. Next, we need to erase all the pencil, and then we need to uh, shade some things with hatching, and we need to black out certain things as well. We drew War Greymon first. Let's go ahead and erase them first. There, I'd say War Greymon looks pretty good. Let's hatch. I think maybe this horn's had time to dry. Uh, we also need to probably white out some of the lines coming up to this point. There, now it's not quite so scrawny and weird looking. I mean, it's okay to have a, a scrawny horn, like whatever, as long as you can stab people with it, you know what I'm saying? Before we go on to masking in black, I'd say it's about time we erased Metal Gover Rumon's pencil lines. Oh, he looks beautiful. No smudging this time, I love it. Okay, so at this point, what we're gonna wanna do is pull out the brush, and then we're going to just mask in a few of the areas that need that. Once the rings on his horns are done, this War Greymon is pretty much complete. Man, this is probably the biggest drawing I've ever done. This is also probably the biggest video I've ever recorded. Although with the magic of editing, it'll hopefully only be like 12 minutes. I hope so. All right, Lonely Distance, thank you for the suggestion. This drawing was an incredible doozy. If you'd like to see a time lapse of the entire process it took to draw this, you can go to my Patreon, the link's down below. You only need to donate one dollar a month to be able to see the time lapse. And how is Dodimon doing? So seeing as how they do need a training now, uh, I'm going to give them a meat, and then I'm going to give them a protein. Dang, that's a big pill. I'm surprised you actually chewed that up in multiple bites, you psychopath. I'll bring you a glass of water. And that is all for today. When we come back tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to show you Agumon X. And another huge thanks to Sam Krieger for sending me this device so I can actually do a series on it. Thank you, Sam. And thanks to my patrons for supporting my channel, especially Cookie Face and Shifter. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.